Y'all cannot get this out of my head. So this is a lesson. If you get pissed off doing your hair, just don't do it. Just put up in a high puff. High puff. Or else everything is just going to start doing crazy. Hey you guys, so I'm back. And today I'm going to be styling my hair. Um, This is my old kind of protective style that I've been wearing throughout the week. Just so I can make it work. Um, But I'm going to go ahead and try to style my hair using the new QP um, pro what is it? Yeah, the new QP products that I received in the curl box for this month. So yeah, I'm just going to take these breaks out. I'm going to go and wash my hair and I'll come back after my hair is washed. I'm not sure if I'm going to blow dry it yet, but we'll see when I come back in the next video. So yeah, I'll see you. If you want to see me use these QP products, then please keep watching. Sorry for my hoarse voice. I just woke up. So, <clears throat> so yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done washing my hair. So see ya. So I'm back and I've washed my hair and I have it in these two plaits. I'm just going to take this loose and to start off this style I am going to go in with a leave-in and we did receive a leave-in in the curl box. Um, let me see if I can find it. Uh, we did get the olive oil mango butter anti-breakage leave-in conditioner. And this is wait for it to focus. And this is what I will be using on my hair as a leave-in today. And I also do have my favorite brush, which is the Felicia Leatherwood brush. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started and putting in this leave-in. I'm not. Sh I might speed this up just to make it go by a little bit faster. But um, either way, I'm just putting in my leave-in, and I'm gonna clip this section out the way. Now that I have my leave-in in, I'm going to go in with the moisturizer. Um, and this is how that looks. And I will also put all the details for these products in the description box below. So if you have, if you want to know any information about it or what products I used in this video, then please check that. So I've kind of sort of I don't I don't think I'm a I'm gonna put this moisturizer in my way <laughs> I'm not gonna do it the YouTube way I'm just gonna take big chunks of hair and put this in because after using the leave-in I feel like my hair is moisturized enough but just for some added moisture I'm gonna go in with the moisturizer and plus I want to see how it feels and it is really thick it coats your hands and all these products have a a really light fragrance to them they're not overpowering but they will leave your hair smelling good okay that felt like it did more of more sealing than anything so it sealed in that leave-in but yeah that leave-in was so moisturizing that I probably could just put that on a walk out the door if I wanted to um I probably would do that one day when I don't want to do my hair and just want to throw I would just you know put in the leave-in and just walk out the door I put too much in my hand I put way too much in my hand that time but yeah um I'm gonna do this my way because this is usually how I do my hair when I'm not on camera I don't really take sections I take sections when I feel like it's needed but when I'm moisturizing my hair for the most part I just grab large sections and I will sandwich them and use the praying hands and like get the moisturizer in if I feel like certain parts of that section um, is drier than the rest then I will go separate that out and you know try to give it some more moisture 
but that putting stuff in sections that is tedious and it takes more time so um if you're like me it doesn't have to be done like you don't have to do it just because you see other people doing it you really don't have to so yeah that's how it feels moisturized everything's nice and moisturized and um i'm missing the design foam but um i'm guessing i'm not going to use that because i don't feel like going to get it and i already know it's good because i used to use it back in the day so it's a really good style foam it does hold all your styles in place so um yeah i'm not going to use that i'm really interested in using this product and this is the feels like silk is a liquid styling gel i'm really interested in using that i was going to do a um a perm rod set with a mohawk i'm still going to do that mohawk but i think i'm going to do more of a wash and go so i can just um get in my little side style and then i can leave without my hair drying i can let it air dry so i'm going to get into this style i'm going to move y'all a little bit closer and show you what i'm about to do to my hair and actually i need another comb so i'll be back so I just went on to search for a comb and this is the only comb I can find and I know for a fact we have like three rat tail combs and yeah I'm gonna try to make this work though so to get started I'm gonna do the crisscross style on my mohawk to hold it up and then the rest of it's gonna be a wash and go so what I'm gonna need are some of some you know hair holders these aren't scrunchies they're like the little I don't know what they're called but you're gonna need a comb you're gonna need a rubber bands and the alternative to this style would be just twisting the hair instead of putting the rubber bands or braiding it um but I'm gonna use rubber bands and do not everybody's kind do not I don't remember if they come from Dollar Tree or like CVS or something they are trash they will pop on you instantly even if you don't even put nothing on they just pop so that's another reason why I don't want to have to sit underneath the dryer because I'm afraid those rubber bands might pop on me. So yeah, I'm now just going to go in, go in and section my hair, what part I want to be up in the mohawk. So yeah, I have my sections parted out. And now I'm just gonna put the rest of my hair up. So for this part of my hairstyle, I'm going to be using the uh, conditioning shining gel. And this is the glaze one. Um, it says glaze, I don't know why I said all that, but it's glaze. Uh, and I'm just gonna go in and section out my hair. So yeah, I just had to start over because number one, these rubber bands keep popping on me and it's pissing me off. And two, I made my sections too small. So I'm just gonna go in and do big old square sections and call it a day because this is taking longer than it's supposed to. And it's really hard to explain how to do it. It's kind of, I don't know, it's just hard. So. And I'm going to go in with some more of that glaze. Y'all, this fucking rubber band just broke on me again. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm finna like have a whole freaking like episode. <laughs> Y'all, F these rubber bands. I'm not doing rubber bands because I literally, like, my nerves are shot. I done wasted so much fucking, like, excuse me. I done wasted so much memory and battery over this. Like, I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. Now I'm just going to repeat that on the other side.
Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna work with this section up here because what I tried to do did not like y'all I'm so pissed right now and I'm trying not to show but I'm so pissed like these rubber bands kept popping on me so the whole time I'm sitting up here trying to do the hairstyle and I can't even keep the hairstyle because the rubber bands keep popping and I have modified it like three times and it still fucking excuse me still keep popping so I'm over it. I'm just doing a wash and go. I'm over it. And it's not even the products. The products are great. It's the freaking rubber band. <laughs> but now I'm going to go in with the Feels Like Silk. And I'm just going to use this as like the gel for my wash and go. And it smells so much like a salon. And I'm taking like large sections to do this because... Like I said, I'm I'm over my hair. Well, I'm over the rubber bands. And I don't even want to do my hair anymore. So, I'm just doing a wash and go. This is looking really good, though. Like, I'm getting happy again. And I'm really not using that much of this. But it's... It's, it's pretty liquidy. It is a liquid gel. But it's not to the point where it'll roll off your hand it actually stays in your hand until you use it so it slides through the hair really well and it coats your strands really well as I feel so no matter if you don't if you put it in sections or not your hair is still going to get coated at least that's how I feel using it right now So this is how my hair is looking so far. I'm gonna go sit underneath the dryer and let some of it dry and then the rest of it, is, I'm gonna let air dry and I'll try to come back to you guys to show you how everything is looking. And I might actually have to pin these up once it dries. But we're gonna see, cause like I said, my hair shrinks really bad when it dries, so. Trying to get everything to lay how I want it to before I sit underneath the dryer. So yeah, this is it and I'll see you once my hair is dry. So see ya. So y'all, I was supposed to come back and show you my hair and it is actually the next day. Um, after all that frustration with my hair, um, I ended up with a wash and go as you can tell. I did try to leave the hair out in the front, but it ended up drying like this, so I've been wearing like a headband or pinning it up with some bobby pins, but today I'm just letting it hang however the, the heck it wants to hang. So um, this is how my hair turned out. You probably can't see it from here, but my curls are actually very moisturized. like. I don't think my hair has been this moisturized in a while. It is, yeah, it has been a minute since my hair has been this moisturized. Now I've been touching my hair for the past two days, and this is probably giving triggering somebody the fact that I'm touching my hair so much. But no matter how much I touch my hair, it's like it's not affecting my curls because they're so freaking moisturized. If I can get it to focus. Like, I feel like the camera isn't doing it justice, but look at this shine. Like, I do feel like, I do feel like my curl pattern has changed and my hair is doing some crazy stuff. Like how in the front, all these are dangling, but to be honest, I feel like I put too much product on my hair in the front. So it's a little, it's heavier than the rest of my hair, so it's hanging lower. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much how my hair turned out. It is very light and fluffy. It moves when I walk, when the wind blows, it moves. It's not stiff at all, y'all. 
it is not stiff so yeah I really do like those products and if I ever want a lot of moisture I will always use those products I think I found um, my staple products in this box this month finally because I've been lacking the moisture that I used to have in the past and I can tell I've I've been trying to figure out a way to get that moisture back into my hair because these the rest of these products haven't been doing it but going back to the oldies it worked out styling my hair didn't work out but those products did they treated my hair very nice now I can say I think I used a little too much of the liquid gel because I felt like my hair wasn't dry like today it feels super moisturized and it's not transferring onto my hands but yesterday I felt like my hair was not dry and it just felt like I just saturated it too much <laughs> with the liquid gel and every time I touch my hair I would have grease all on my hands it, it was on my cell phone it was everywhere so um yeah be mindful of that if you're thinking about using that product don't use too much don't do like me <laughs> and use too much and I know that next time but the leave-in conditioner was amazing the moisturizer was amazing and I do like that gel but now I'm looking forward to using um, the style foam now I did think about doing a braid out after my style didn't work out and I felt like my hair wasn't dry so I thought about doing a, a braid out or something but I decided not to I say that for another video but I will be using that mousse and like I said I've used that styling foam before way in the past and it was amazing so I'm pretty sure it's still amazing so yeah either way this is my video I hope you guys enjoyed this is how my hair turned out nothing special just ordinary you know natural hair that is super moisturized you know so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or any requests please leave them in the comment section below I'll put all the details of the products in the description box um, so be sure to check that out and if I leave anything out like I said um, just leave it in the comment section below and I'll be sure to try to answer when I can so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next see ya